What's up, guys? There's going to be a lot of happy people this week for Google Maps for the iPhone is now live in the App Store. I just wanted to take a look at it. For right now, it looks like this is iPhone only. There's no iPad version, but I'm sure that's coming in the future. I know a lot of people that are going to be happy having Google Maps back on the iOS platform. So this is running on iOS 6 on the iPhone 5. Now you can see that the interface is a little bit different here. It's similar, but you can see it's very simplistic and it's clean cut and I really like the interface of this. And you can see here, you can swipe up and get all your information, your calling, uh, your street view would be here, your reviews and things like that. So I really like the way that the Maps application looks. And if you swipe to the right or hit that button, you will get the satellite, then you will get public transit, traffic, so that's pretty cool as well for people that were missing the transit on the iOS maps for Apple Maps, which was absent. So you can see pinch to zoom response is really, really good. And on one handed operation, all you do is double tap and hold the screen and you can zoom in and out like that. So I think that's pretty neat as well. Even though that's in the Android version, I think that that is also very cool that they included that in here. So you don't have to pinch the zoom, you can use it that way if you're a one-handed operation type of person. So let's just go ahead and uh, search for a place. Let's just search for near AT&T store here. And you can see if you swipe up, actually if there was more choices there, you would be able to swipe to the side and I'll show you that later. But Google Street View is back here and a lot of people were missing that as well. And I'm glad to see it back. It functions really well, you can see it's perfectly panning around and no stutters or anything like that in the UI that I've noticed. So here we go. And if, of course, you have full turn by turn directions here on the iOS version as well, you got a couple choices there. Then as soon as you hit the start button, then you're off to go. And it's very nice because on the very top, you can kind of flip through and see what your next turn is and your next move is. So that's also very cool. And on your turns, if you're not in navigation, it will show up as a pop-up notification. So that's also very nice telling you to turn and you can also voice activate them. So very cool features in the iOS version compared to the Android version, even though the versions are very, very similar. This interface tends to be a little bit cleaner, and I think a lot of other people think the same thing. And there you go with the searches. If you just flick to the side here, you can get all your different searches, and that's a pretty cool addition as well to the UI. So you can just kind of flick back and forth. And if you hit it, you can see the reviews, the photos, everything is there in one panel instead of swiping to the other side like the Android version, which I'll show you later. So let's take out the Android version. And what's cool is that if you sign into the iOS version, it will cross over to your Android device. So that's nice. So you will have all your searches on your Android device if you have one. So there's the differences in the UI here. And you can see the results list is different instead of you flicking back and forth. And your map view here is very, very similar with your information panel. But you can see that if you swipe to the right, then you will get your photos. But here in the iOS version, everything is right there in one panel. You just kind of go up and down. So a little bit more simplistic, a little bit cleaner cut interface for the iPhone 5. And I'm very surprised that uh, they've been doing this since the Google, the Google Now voice assistant for the iOS version was kind of the same, where I thought that was a cleaner cut interface. And it seems like Google is really working hard to get the iOS versions to look nice. And even though the functionality is full in the Android side, I, it seems to be kind of weird. What do you guys think about that? Because I know a lot of people thought that Google Now was nicer on the iOS 6 side. So the, uh, the Zoom function here with one-handedness is also here in the uh, Android version. So it's not exclusive to the iPhone 5 version. And just wanted to show people that because it's always been there. But this is really nice knowing that the iPhone 5 has the same powerful Google Maps that Android does. But I don't know how a lot of Android fans would feel about that since that's one of the best features on an Android phone is Google Maps. And now this Google Maps is available on the iPhone 5. So I think this is a big addition to the iPhone 5 and the iOS platform. So what do you guys think? Let me know what you think in the comments below. And subscribe to my videos today for I have a lot more coverage. And I just thank you for watching this video. See you in the next one.